All right, meanwhile, Senator Chuck Grassley celebrating his 90th birthday yesterday, Ainsley. And ahead of the big day, we traveled to Iowa to visit with a longtime senator and his hilarious, funny, <laughs> amazing wife, Barbara. Watch this. Hey, Senator. How are you? Family farm. Nice to see you. you be at your you home. Glad to be able to show you around the farm. I've lived here 40 years, but I live within the four miles of the farmhouse I was born in. My son Robin operates the family farm and I got a grandson in it, so that the grandson would be the fourth generation. You have 2% of the people in the United States growing the food for the other 98%. My hashtag corn watch and hashtag soybean watch, it's my attempt to educate those 98% of the people that uh, food doesn't grow in supermarkets, mm. it grows on farms. Can you teach me how to shuck corn? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Pull this back yes, that sir. way, and then after you get it pulled back, give it, give the ear a little twist. Yes, okay. you did it perfect. But you understood, you did it like we did in the <laughs> 1930s, 40s. Right, well, now you have machines that do it for yes, you, right? Yes, How many years have you been in office? I've been in the United States Senate 43 years, six years in the House of Representatives before that, and then 16 years in the state legislature. Well, recently you acquired and you released the 1023 form, and it was heavily redacted. And, but you you stood up and you told America what, what it actually said. The what, most uh, horrific of the redactions deals with 17 phone calls between uh, Ukraine oligarch and Two of them were with Vice President Biden and 15 of them with Hunter Biden. Now, what those phone calls say, I don't know. But I don't want to make a judgment of the guilt of any of the Bidens. I just, uh, my oversight is to make sure that the FBI does their job without political bias. Some people have said that we need term limits. We need age limits. You look at Joe Biden. Most of the polls are saying recently Democrats are saying he, sh he is too old to run for office. What do you think? What do you say? Well, isn't it a 240-year history of our country with the voters making these decisions? It seems to me this is something that Americans decide whether a Biden ought to be reelected or some Republican ought to be uh, elected instead. And in the case of Chuck Grassley serving his eighth term in the United States Senate, uh, I was overwhelmingly elected by uh, the people of Iowa. The voters of Iowa made a sound decision. And that's what you have to go by when you have a, a democracy. The importance of Iowa, the voters here, the caucus, it's the first in the country. We uh, are proud of it. Uh, we uh, want to keep it this way. And that's why we want everybody to come to Iowa and test their political mettle here. Hey, Barbara, I've got yes, some sir. pictures here I want to show Ainsley. Would you come over and help me uh, explain these things? Hey, Barbara. Hi. Hi. Thank you for welcoming us into your beautiful home. Well, we're glad that you could come. How did you meet? We met in a blind date. And then Married what? eight, we, eight months later. Really? <laughs> yeah. You've been together for so long. How many years? 69 years. 69. Here. What's the secret? Well, six, 68. No, 69. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we just had the 69th one. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, we're going on 70 then. Barbara, you have to tell me what happened on the way to your wedding. Well, she was 15 minutes late for the wedding. Yeah. You well, but Dad had a flat tire. What do you do? You change the tire. You yeah. got it. <laughs> you can't help it. And of course, if every day you picked a cold flat, that was the day. This is uh, our family, uh, five of our children, uh, nine grandchildren, and uh, 13 great-grandchildren. Wow. So you have a very special birthday, turning 90 years old. How do you feel? I don't feel any different than I did on any other birthday, except just pleased to have a life that I can live uh, for the people of Iowa and to serve Christ. And I know you love ice cream. And I understand you're gonna take us to the creamery yeah, down yeah. the street. And I hope you'll enjoy an ice cream cone with me. I but would love to. Well, Senator, you gonna serve ice cream today? Could, could you believe that? <laughs> would you like to have a cone or a cup? I'll try a cone. Which one do you think you'd like? The mint chocolate chip is my favorite. Okay. I think I'm going to try. That's a butter pecan, sir. Well, 
That you sounds like... pretty good to me. Okay. Cheers, Cheers to, to Iowa. Iowa. Yes, Lawrence, that's answer awesome. your question. He that's likes butter pecan and he likes <laughs> vanilla. Too. How cute were they? We got we arrived at their adorable home. It's been in their family. You know, they've lived there for so long. Yeah. They started at this small little church. The church has grown to thousands and thousands of people. They've been a part of that church community. They go every Sunday. They do a Bible study together in the morning. They had four Christian books. One was Jesus Calling on the Top, written by Sarah Young, and there was one um, by just different evangelists, and uh, one was Billy Graham. And they do that together. That's and awesome. And when he's on the hill, they do a Bible study with his staff. They're just... Uh, they just want to live for Christ. They're wonderful yeah, but they're, he's 90, and he yeah. looks like he could bench press uh, 200 point. pounds, Good point. and he looks like he could run a country. And he's still moving. And he's it's still not about age. Yeah. He runs several yeah. miles several times a week, yeah. two miles wow. like three times a week. About 40 years ago, I was in Iowa when he first ran for the Senate. Really? And covered him. I was at that house. Wow. Yes, and she was sitting too. in that chair. Right, right, right. <laughs> she said he married an older woman. She's 91 and he just turned 90 yesterday. So happy birthday. We're so glad you were born. And she said when the tire, when they uh, lost the tire on the way to the church to get married and her dad had to change the flat tire, he didn't think she was coming to the altar. Uh, he there thought you go. she had stood a month And they how long they've been married? Going on seven years. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Grassley family, thank you very much for opening your home.